Hi, I'm Kevin Klein, MLA for Kirkfield Park. I want to bring you inside the legislature and talk about a few announcements our PC government made that I'm very proud of. And I know you may have missed them because life gets very busy and we don't all take a newspaper, we don't all watch TV news or listen to the radio. We have other sources uh, of entertainment nowadays and we get our news from various, uh, various platforms and various sources. But these ones I thought were key that you would want to hear about. First and foremost, we already know how difficult it is to find daycare spaces. And we've done a lot of work as your government to fix that mistake created by the NDP. We've created $10 daycare. Now, after listening to residents in Northern Manitoba, we have taken even more action, positive action. Our government has committed to creating over 1,000 daycare spaces in Northern Manitoba. We listened, we heard, we took action. That's what you want from your government, not empty promises. We also heard that Manitoba created more jobs than any other province or territory in Canada. That is fantastic news. Now I know from being in the media for over a quarter of a century, people are gonna look for the negative again. Stop looking for the negative. Just tell us the facts. I think people just want the facts. And the fact is, and it's irrefutable, you wanna live in a province where jobs are growing. You wanna live in a province where companies want to be. We need not to create the jobs, but to create the environment in which companies can be successful, in which companies can grow, which are attractive to companies outside of our province and makes us a desirable relocation place. That is what we want. That's what we wanna create. And in doing so, we'll improve the quality of life for Manitobans. We'll have more tax dollars to improve education, to improve healthcare, Care, to improve public safety. It's a circle and, and we need to drive that by creating the right environment for success. And if we create the right environment for success, it'll improve the quality of life for every Manitoba. Um, in my conversations throughout the hallways, I was able to speak briefly with Minister Audrey Gordon, Minister of Health, because I wanted to follow up on the $200 million. It's a historic investment that the government made to attract, retain, and train new healthcare people. And I wanted to know if it was successful. Well, I know now that we are seeing more hires in the healthcare system because of that $200 million investment. That's what we want to know about. That's a positive. Everyone talks about, oh, healthcare is terrible, healthcare is terrible, because somebody from another party is telling you that. And that's all they say. Because the more they say it, the more they think people will believe it. But the reality is, our government took action. We implemented an historic investment of $200 million to retain, to train, and attract new healthcare staff, and it's working. Another positive sign was how our Premier handled the healthcare meetings in Ottawa. We have to be very proud of how she led the leaders of all provinces and territories to Ottawa in a very difficult mission. But she led a group of people that had to be heard and she made sure that they were heard. Not only did she make sure that the leaders in, of other territories and provinces were heard, she also brought forward an important message on behalf of all Canadians that the NDP Liberal Coalition has to take health care seriously and not just make empty promises like they always have. We need more funding for health care, yes. Our Premier went there with a big ask and that was all put together by all the leaders of territories and provinces in Canada. Did we get that number? No, but it's positive. Let's look at the positive. We got more money than we're getting today and that's a step forward. And in business, as long as you're taking a step forward and not two steps backward, that's success. So thank you very much for your hard work, uh, uh, Premier Stephenson. And, and also thank you for representing our province and showing the leadership that we have uh, among, resident, uh, among people in Manitoba. I, I think thought you represented our province and our country very well at those negotiations, so thank you. Um, and one that I got to announce was the greenhouse gas. Uh, we are poised as Manitoba to achieve our first greenhouse gas emissions target of one megaton. I know it sounds like a lot. There's more into it. You should look it up sometimes. It's very good learning. Um, but that's a positive, right? Manitoba is well positioned to be a leader in the green economy. We have the cleanest energy west of Quebec. This is good news for all of us because this makes 
Manitoba, the opportune place for industries that are creating green technology. In fact, I got to meet with the ambassador from the EU and our conversation centered around how the EU wants to be 100% hydrogen fueled, but they want clean hydrogen. And you know there's only a few places in the world where you can create clean hydrogen. Right here in Manitoba is one of those places. Manitoba is uniquely positioned to be very successful in leading the green economy around the world. If I missed anything or if you have some questions, give me a call, 204-888-2211, or you can email me, Kevin, at kevinkline.ca. Have a good long weekend.